Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Madam Mr. Lisa. In today's presentation, we are going to discuss a question on MFRS 108, Accounting Policies, Changes in Accounting Estimates and Errors. This is a, a final exam question from FAR 270, uh, question 4, February 2023, and I'm going to show the step-by-step -step of how to answer the question. Question 4A, MFRS 108, Accounting Policies, Changes in Accounting Estimates and Errors identifies two circumstances in which require changes in accounting policy. The standard stated that the change in accounting policy may be applied retrospectively required. You are asked to determine the accounting treatment of retrospective application change in accounting policy they are actually the changes are applied retrospectively so what are the accounting treatment let us recall retrospective application these are guided under mfrs 108 and uh, these are the two uh, circumstances yeah and now uh, we're going to write that into a proper sentence so uh, changes in accounting policy shall be adjusted retrospectively and therefore the entity shall adjust the opening balance of each affected component of equity for e earliest uh, prior period presented so this will be your first point and the second point is the other comparative amount disclosed for each prior period presented as if the new accounting policy has always been applied for so these are the two points that are required under that circumstances second part part 4b question 4b and there are three scenarios here scenario one two and three and requirement there are actually three requirement requirement a b and c and i'm starting with a requirement a so the retained earnings accounts in the books of Mooney showed an opening balance of 30 million as at 1st January 2021. And this is the beginning of the uh, current year, 1st of January 2021. During the accounting year ended 31st of December 2021. So this is actually the current year. So this is, is important for you to identify when is the current reporting period. The company acquired a motor vehicle on 1st of January 2019. So if you look at the requirement at the bottom there, you are asked to categorize whether it is a change in accounting policy, a change in accounting estimates, or is it an error, specifically prior period error. So you have the acquisition on 1st January 2019 and the motor vehicle has been depreciated so on trade line basis starting from 1st of January 2019 over useful life of 8 years and on 1st of January 2021 which is the beginning of the current year I write here BOCY the total useful life total estimated useful life uh, has been revised to 5 years before it was 8 now it was revised to revised to 5 years so the revision of uh, estimated useful life is a change in accounting estimates. Second part, regular maintenance of machinery amounting to 300,000 was capitalized. So maintenance cost is actually a revenue expenditure and this was capitalized as part of the machinery cost. So this was clearly uh, being wrongly recognized and that happened since, first of gen since January 2020. At the same time, depreciation was allocated on this machinery. So it was being overstated in terms of the depreciation. And therefore, the depreciation policy is also a straight line method here. So you can see that there are two um, wrong treatment here, which is depreciation that was wrongly allocated and the maintenance that was being capitalized. So this is actually prior period errors. And the third one, the company adopted fair value model, so fair value model for the measurement of IP and that happened since 1st of January 2018 since the IP was acquired at 10 million 
and at the same time it was depreciated over 40 years it shouldn't be done that way because investment property using fair value model has no depreciation the amount of depreciation that has been written off against the ip um, was not given but you need to calculate that so that has been written off against ip so meaning that ip has somehow been wrongly uh, uh, carried at the carrying amount so we have to check how much the fair value of the property on 31st of december 2021 was 11 million and that fair value changes which is supposed to be taken into consideration due to fair value model but that has not been taken into account so this is again another prior period error why prior period error because there was uh, um, the wrong treatment on the subsequent measurement of the uh, investment property where fair value model but still the depreciation was being uh, uh, allocated to the investment property so this is a prior period error next we go to the second part which is the requirement here is a uh, requirement in b section b b uh, the small b which is to prepare the appropriate journal entries to rectify or do to correct the situation uh, where there is an error or to revise if there is a change in accounting estimates so that should be for the current year and the 31st of december 2021 so we start with the first one which is the uh, changes in accounting estimates that we earlier identified so let's look at what happened so uh, earlier on we acquired motor vehicle estimated is five eight years and on 1st of January 2021, which is the beginning of the current year, the estimated useful life was revised to 5 years. So, 5 years. And estimated useful life, if it's 5 years here, meaning to say that after 2 years, since 1st of January 2019 until 31st of December 2020, 2 years, um, it has been depreciated. And therefore, by 1st of January 2021, remaining useful life is three years and um, what you need to see is that to go and find out what are the uh, calculation for the new depreciation based on the new uh, remaining useful life so what we need to do is to go and calculate first the accumulated depreciation before the revision of useful life and later calculate the depreciation after the revision of the useful life so we start with the uh, accumulated depreciation for the first two years which is for 2019 and 2020 in the prior years and that should be 15,000 divided by the eight years the use estimated useful life before the revision and uh, then multiplied by two years you get 3750 next is to calculate the carrying amount at the beginning of the year where the changes in accounting estimate took place and that should be taking the cost, the cost, which is 15 million. Uh, and that should be deducted with the accumulated depreciation before the revision. So it is 11,250. And to get the de revised depreciation, you take the carrying amount, CA, which is 11,250, divided by remaining useful life, which is this use, remaining useful life that we have already determined earlier. On 1st of January 2021, 3750. And therefore, on 31st of December 2021, the depreciation of the motor vehicle is now revised from uh, the, the previous depreciation to become 3750. Previously, it was um, uh, the one that you have calculated, but here you have 3750. This is accumulated depreciation, but if you want to see the depreciation per year in that two years, you need to divide by two okay that was for uh, 4b1b now we go on to 4b2b where you asked to prepare the general entries for the purpose of correcting the error that was the uh, regarding the maintenance that was wrongly capitalized and depreciation that was wrongly allocated uh, we will start off by drawing a timeline and of course this is prior period error so the, on 1st of january is the date where you have the maintenance being capitalized wrongly. Depreciation was also was wrongly charged to the um, machinery overstated the depreciation for the starting from 1st of January 2020. 
So the method was 10% per annum straight line method. And you discover that error somewhere as at 31st of December 2021, which is at the end of the year, 31st of December 2021, which is the period here. And the current period is beginning 1st of January 2021. And what we need to do is to do, to do the correction of error. What is the effect when there is a correction that need to be done before that? What is the effect of that prior period error? Number one, you can see that retained earnings has been overstated. Why? Because maintenance cost was not uh, expense of or was not uh, being treated as a revenue expenditure. And accumulated depreciation was also being overstated because more depreciation was charged. And machinery was also being overstated since the uh, revenue expenditure was incorrectly recognized as capital expenditure. And we need to do the correction, rectify that by way of the uh, corrected journal entry. To do that, uh, first we need to go and remove the um, repair, maintenance cost that was wrongly recognized from the profit or loss uh, from the machinery. So basically what we will do is we will credit the machinery to remove that uh, repair charges that was included. And we debit return earning because we need to go and uh, increase or restate the return earnings uh, with the prior year error the maintenance cost being uh, being uh, capitalized so that was to remove that uh, particular uh, error and next is to rectify the prior year depreciation and also current year depreciation that was incorrectly allocated on machinery so for the prior year which is in 2020 this prior year you would see that depreciation was 10% Per year, so thirty thousand. So that must be removed from the retained earnings because previously the depreciation expense was charged to the retained earnings uh, brought forward first January twenty twenty one, and the depreciation was also wrongly charged in the current year. Here it is in the profit or loss itself. I put here sample. So that you are going to credit the depreciation to remove the depreciation that was wrongly charged. And at the end, the accumulated depreciation also need to be reduced by 60,000. And this will also affect the carrying amount of the machinery later. And therefore, um, that will need to be adjusted in the notes to the PPE. Next uh, is about the uh, last part, which is a uh, part at, uh, B for the situation 3, which is on the prior period error relating to the uh, adoption of fair value model that was wrongly uh, measured or subsequently wrongly measured. Yeah. So no um, fair value changes were taken into consideration. Fair value was not taken into consideration. However, depreciation has been somehow written off against the IP. That was wrong. So therefore, you need to go and do the correction. Let's see what happened. So first of January 2018, you acquired the IP for 10 million. Depreciation was wrongly recognized and the uh, fair value model was adopted but fair value change was ignored. And the expected useful life in this question is uh, 40 years. And the fair value at the end of the year, 31st of December 2021, uh, was uh, 1 million. And you discover uh, the prior period error made in 2018 in somewhere at the 31st of December at the end of reporting period in the current year. So at the beginning of the year, the effect of that error, prior period error, is that retained earnings brought forward will be overstated, right? Retained earnings will be overstated. And um, accumulated depreciation was also being overstated. Accumulated depreciation was being overstated since you charge more depreciation in the a prior year, the three prior years. And the current depreciation was also being overstated since there is a need, uh, no need for you to go and recognize the depreciation for IP as it uses the fair value model. At the same time, the carrying amount of the IP was wrongly stated. So it was not correctly um, uh, presented in the uh, financial statement. So let's do the correction to rectify the prior year uh, to rectify the prior year 
uh, we have to do the correction, which is uh, we need to rectify the prior year and current year depreciation of IP that uh, was being overstated due to the option, adoption of fair value model. So the for the three years period here, prior year, the depreciation per year uh, was a charge which is 250,000. How do you get 250,000? 10 million divided by 40. So you have 250. And that was wrongly charged for three years. So 750,000. So therefore, actually here, the depreciated retained profit was being understated. So just make some correction there. Understated. Because you charge more depreciation to the uh, profit or loss so depreciation has actually caused retained earnings to be uh, understated so uh, therefore we need to go and restate the retained pro profits by correct uh, crediting the retained earnings uh, which is 750,000 for three years uh, that has been wrongly uh, recognized for the current year we need to remove the depreciation 250,000 because depreciation was wrongly charged and at the same time, there was a change in fair value on the 1st of December here. And therefore, that fair value change, which is again on change in fair value of IP of 1 million. 1 million, which is 1 million here. Okay, there was one zero missing there. 1 million. Right. And therefore, the 11 million is the fair value here. And you will compare with the carrying amount here. No depreciation. So just compare with the cost. So you will get uh, 1 million. Okay, that's it for the uh, third and last part. Sorry, this was the second last. We go to the last one. Last part is B. Question 4B, part C. Compute restated uh, opening balance of written earning as, as at 1st of January in the books of Muni. So all the prior year adjustment here is on the prior period error. There is no changes in accounting policy that you need to adjust here. So for the first one, this is uh, related to the error, prior period error in situation two. And we are, we have already credited uh, the, um, uh, the, sorry, this, we have already debited the retained earnings earlier and that should be reduced and the next one is the depreciation that was overstated so we credit the retained earnings uh, for the motor vehicle also in situation number two and the third one is for the IP case where you go and uh, restate the retained earnings by crediting it since it was being understated earlier so you go and uh, add back to the retained earnings 750,000 the depreciation that was wrongly charged in the three years period so it will bring you to the restated retained earnings balance brought forward as at that fee date 1st January 2021 3480 and that should be the one that should be uh, recorded in the statement of changes in equity under the retained earnings column uh, before you start with doing all other adjustment that is related to that particular year make the correction for the prior period error prior year adjustment with that i thank you for watching i'll see you when i will see you with that assalamualaikum and have a pleasant day ahead